Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a really quick video today doing a six month update on Casimta, which is the drug that I take to manage my multiple sclerosis or MS, um, which is what I usually refer to it as. But Casimta is the DMT that I take to manage it. It's a disease managing therapy. I think that's what DMT stands for or disease managing treatment. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's the drug that I take to manage my MS. It's an immunosuppressant, so what it does is it suppresses your immune cells, so it basically suppresses your immune system and makes it less active because the way that MS works is you have an overactive immune system and so it kind of goes a bit crazy and then instead of fighting off infections, it attacks your brain, your spinal cord and your optic nerves. I, I think. I don't know if your optic nerve is part of your brain, but that's what MS basically is. It's a autoimmune disease and it's not great, it's not pretty, but it can be well controlled. There's so many drugs that control it. I have RR MS, which is relapsing, remitting, and the drugs help you slow down any progression um, and kind of halt the disease as well as possible. And a lot of things you can do to help with the disease, diet and all of that good stuff but the drugs are a huge thing that have really helped me um, and not just physically mentally as well i know that before i went on the drug because it took me um, a few months to actually almost like get the courage to go on the drug and once i did it really really helped me mentally because i was so stressed trying to control it with just diet and yeah once i got on the drug it felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders and i felt like i could breathe again i could relax again i could enjoy myself again because i felt like i had um, almost like something else vouching for me and like on my side so this is the box that it comes in i have this in my room because yesterday i went to pick up some new uh, pens so the way that casimta works is it's literally just a pre-filled pen and you hold it down onto your skin so onto your stomach your arms or your thighs and you hold it down and then it clicks and then the liquid releases and then a little green vial fills up. Once the green, green vial is like full, it clicks again, then you wait a few seconds and then you undo it or you lift it off your leg. And that's it, it's once a month injection, so it's super, super easy. And that's one of the reasons why I chose it. When I went to go on a drug, I kind of had all of them available to me and um, because I really, like I'd relapsed really soon to when I wanted to go on the drug. And so they're kind of like, whichever one you want, you can go on. I had full pick of all of them and the nurse I was working with at the time recommended Casimta to me purely because I was very set on the fact that I wasn't going to be in the UK for long and I was going to be moving to Australia and I was going to be traveling and I was going to be doing things and I wasn't going to be like sitting still she was like okay so infusions won't work and I really wanted something that wasn't that was going to go straight into my skin because I didn't want something to kind of have to go for my gut first and I just wanted to yeah have it into my skin straight away and Casimta seemed like the best option it's the first one I've been on, and so I haven't been on, like, I know a lot of people have had a lot of experience with other drugs, and yeah, I haven't. It's the only one I've been on, and it's the only drug I've ever really been on in my life as well. So I was really nervous about taking it, which is why these videos were so helpful for me to see what other people's experiences were like, because it's really overwhelming when you're about to put something into your body, which is as serious as, like, a, an immunosuppressant. Like, it's a pretty serious drug to take. Um, and so it was really nice hearing other people's experiences of it. So yeah, first things first, I want to preface this by saying that I haven't had an MRI checkup. One of the reasons, again, the symptom was really good for my lifestyle was because I, again, knew that I wasn't going to be in the UK for long. I wanted to go traveling. I wanted to go to Australia, which is where I am now. Um, and so yeah, it was a really like low monitoring drug. Like I didn't have to be monitored on it too much, which um, was really good for me and my lifestyle choices. So yeah, another reason why I chose this one. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, Placenta is a monthly injection. So you take it once a month, which is super, super easy. And I do it, it takes maybe 15 seconds and then I get on with the rest of my day and everything's fine. It's, yeah, it's just so nice being able to do it once a month and then being able to forget about it the rest of the month and then if i have any trips planned or something i always just plan them around that date so mine's on the 30th so i always make sure that i'm not away on the 30th although last month i was it was new year's eve so i was in sydney um but again it wasn't a big deal you can really easily travel with it so i just have a little flask it needs to be refrigerated at all times so much information i have like a little flask with an ice pack um, in it that i got from amazon and it's meant to be really good for medication it has a little thermometer in it and yeah it just stays at about two degrees three degrees 
for like 36 hours. It's a really, really good floss and it's really easy to travel with. I don't let it go through the machine, like the x-ray machine. I just kind of put it through manually and I've never had any problems with it. The only problem I've ever had with it was one time they didn't let me take my thermometer on and I had like a breakdown about it because you can't take mercury onto a plane, but the thermometer I had was one that specifically didn't have mercury in it and so he took it away and i was like showing him screenshots being like it doesn't have mercury in it you're allowed these ones and he was like absolutely not babes like get on the flight and so i was like freaking out but everything was fine i had to pick up my injection yesterday i actually went to get it from a pharmacy took my flask with me which was a last minute decision um and then got the bus back and ended up getting on the wrong bus and i ended up on the motorway which was like so far from my house i was like it's gonna be a 20 minute journey done easy i can easily go and get it um, and then yeah, I ended up getting the wrong bus, getting on the motorway, and whilst I'm sat with like my Kazimto injection in my bag in like the 30 degree heat, and it was just, it was stressful. <laughs> but I had my flask with me, and so it stayed at a really nice temperature. Anyway, random. So I started my injections back in August, that's when I took my first one, and when you first take it, it's not monthly, it's weekly, so you do one a week for three weeks, then you have a break, and then you start your monthly cycle. So the loading dose that you do, they're getting onto like, symptoms and stuff and side effects of the drug. When I first took it, I had like a really bad flu-like illness come from it. So I took the drug and then maybe about three hours later, four hours later after my first time ever taking it, I, I yeah, kind of like crashed a bit. I lost all of my energy and I went upstairs to bed. I had like a really bad headache, just like really bad flu-like symptoms. My whole body ached. I was hot, then I was cold and I just listened to like meditation music and just tried to sleep it off. So I took it at like 6 p.m. I think and so that I could kind of like properly sleep it off and I didn't have like many of the side effects. I was asleep for a lot of them. Um, but I woke up in the morning, felt absolutely fine and then was fine for the rest of the day. And then the next week when I took the second injection, I had a similar thing, but it wasn't as bad. And so it kind of knocked me out a little bit. I didn't have as much energy. Um, and I still just like went to bed, slept it off, woke up and was fine. By the time I took the third injection, I had no symptoms and I was absolutely fine. And like I said, it's, su it's like a super quick injection to take. And once you get past the loading doses, your symptoms or well, my symptoms were none. I had like zero symptoms. And so you literally can just wake up in the morning. I take it out of the fridge 30 minutes before I inject so that it comes to room temperature. I clean my leg with a little swab, wash my hands, and then I inject it, which takes like 15 seconds. I take it out, I put a little cotton ball on where I've injected it to kind of reduce the like swelling and the bruising, um, and then and then I get on with my day, basically. Um, so it's super, super simple to take. Apart from on the loading doses, when I had a few like flu-like symptoms, apart from that, I felt nothing. I yeah, feel really good after every injection. It might last one to... I'm not sure what it was, but in my last one, I had it on the arm when I always do it on the leg because I did it on my arm and I had a slight reaction. It was just a bit raised and like a bit hot. Yeah, it kind of like swelled up a little bit, but within like two to three days, it was completely back to normal. And so at, on a whole, my symptoms are really, my side effects, sorry, from the drug are basically nothing. It's super, super simple. It's easy to remember. And I have a little app on my phone, which just sends me a little reminder on when I need to do it. And if I've had any side effects, I just log them in there and it's just super, super good. So then talking about how it's kind of helped me control my MS, again, I don't know if I said this or not, I haven't had an MRI scan since I started the drug because I guess I wasn't in England and like my hospital in Australia said that I was fine <laughs> and they requested to have one in like six months time, which will be in like May sort of time-ish. So I'm purely going off of how I physically feel. So who knows what's going on upstairs, not me. So yeah, the way that it's kind of helped me is massively reduced my stress <laughs> i feel like just able to take things on now like i feel stronger in my body i feel better i honestly just feel like i have no symptoms at all i feel like i can before i started the drug i couldn't really eat anything that was like i don't know like had lots of sugar in it or was like i couldn't eat anything that wasn't on my like usual food plan i couldn't really do things that were like high stress or workout loads i couldn't do like I don't know, like lots of running or anything without feeling really dizzy. Um, and since I've started taking the drug, I feel like those symptoms have been completely alleviated. Sometimes if I get too overwhelmed um, or if I've been eating really badly, then, which I don't usually do, but if I've been eating like a high sugar day or something, or I've started my day on like a smoothie bowl instead of like some protein, then usually I will feel a bit like dizzy and not great. 
but on the whole it's yeah really really helped me control my symptoms and i just feel a lot better being on it and knowing that i have it to kind of like vouch for me in case i slip up and do something that's a bit too stressful for my body i know that it's kind of there to catch me if i fall and just my mental health in general it's really helped because it just feels i'd have like a huge it's like a huge stress reliever it's it's been really really good and then obviously this drug is an immunosuppressant and so your immune system is suppressed and i was really really worried about that when going on the drug it's the reason i didn't go on it at first because i was like there is absolutely no way i'm taking an immunosuppressant i am not suppressing my immune system do you know how important that is <laughs> and i was really really worried the more the doctors kind of told me i realized that it wasn't my entire immune system that was going to be shut down it's just like part of it that was going to be suppressed a little bit honestly i haven't really felt too much of a difference in terms of getting ill which was one of my biggest concerns maybe noticed from when i've been traveling again i don't know if it's just like a traveling thing but from if I travel or if I have like a hectic day I might get like the sniffles <laughs> or like a bit of a cold or just feel a bit run down when I traveled from Perth to the Gold Coast I had a cold from my previous flight from England to Perth I had a cold and then that turned into a sinus infection which was like unheard of usually I would just like have a cold sleep it off and be absolutely fine but apart from that I haven't really felt the side effects of having a suppressed immune system to be completely honest if i've got like a cut i feel like i heal pretty quickly if i've yeah i have like a few piercings and i was worried that they were going to like flare up and maybe i don't know not be able to fight off the infections or whatever that comes with having a hole in your body but um again they've been absolutely fine everything's been absolutely fine and i'm really really grateful for that i know that everyone's bodies and every person who kind of has this who have MS has it literally completely differently. It's different for every single person. And so my experience isn't necessarily gonna be the next person's experience, but this is kind of how I've found the last six months on it. I just feel pretty good on it, which is really nice to be able to say. And I think as well with the fact that it's helped my mental state has really helped me a lot because I was so stressed and this disease is like thriving on stress. And so if I could do anything to alleviate the stress, which is what this drug has helped me do, it's good and i just hope and pray that when i do have my mri scan whatever that is in the next few months it comes back all good and if it doesn't we go from there and we switch drugs and etc etc but so far i'm feeling good so yeah that's kind of i guess the little six month recap hopefully this has helped someone um make a decision on what you're going to do next what the next steps are and yeah i will talk to you soon